Okay, so this is the Harbor Freight unit on the lower side uh, compared to the net meter solar. I, I want to get one from an outfit called Steka, which some other people have been talking about online too, to show some of the differences and similarities. Now, when we start comparing these things side by side, they are very, very similar, but they are not the same thing. The plastic housings are different. Um, the hookup points are all in the same places, but the little symbols on there are different which tells me that these are coming off of a different assembly line. Um, they, they're very similar design, they're coming off of a different assembly line. And I'm going to go inside and we're going to show a little bit more about what's going on with the Harbor Freight unit. Okay, so this is the Harbor Freight unit on the lower side uh, compared to the net meter solar. I, I want to get one from an outfit called Steka, which some other people have been talking about online too show some of the differences and similarities. Now when we start comparing these things side by side they are very very similar but they are not the same thing. The plastic housings are different. Um, the hookup points are all in the same places but the little symbols on there are different which tells me that these are coming off of a different assembly line. Um, they, they're very similar design, they're coming off of a different assembly line and I'm going to go inside and we're going to show a little bit more about what's going on with the Harbor Freight unit. In following up the comparison on the Thunderbolt solar to the net meter solar charge controller, I've attached this one to a battery. And I would say this is definitely, you know, unlike the net meter solar unit, this one can't do the 24 volt system. Our display only tells us a couple of things, a little bit of amperage amperage in, amperage out, it'll default back to its voltage reading after a few seconds. The, uh, the reason I'm not reading any amperage in or amperage out right now is there's no solar panel hooked up and no lights hooked up. I would be getting similar readings out of the, uh, the net meter solar unit. The one thing I'm not getting out of this though is any sort of a semicircular bar graph or something that tells me that uh, the batteries is within a certain percentage of full full uh, voltage or full float voltage. 12.6 realistically means this battery is actually a little bit on the low side, but it's not going dead by a long shot. Um, so between the net meter solar and the Thunderbolt solar charge controllers, the Thunderbolt solar is definitely the cheaper of the two. It is not a copy. They don't look like they're simply the same thing with different labeling like I uh, may have thought in one of my earlier videos before I actually bought one and tested it. And uh, you, you want to keep that in mind. You're going to get the customer support from having a Harbor Freight store nearby. But these things are really simple. The owner's manual is nothing compared to the, the LCD30 that comes from NetMeter Solar. But it's simple relatively idiot proof and I do like the way that they they hook up the same way the buttons do more or less the same things you're probably going to be seeing a lot more of these in the future in other people's YouTube videos but if you want my secret go get the net meter solar ones 